what do you think of when you hear the word London? Many symbols of London life come to mind. Here are just a few of them. Red double-decker buses. Everyone is familiar with these iconic symbols of London, but not many people know they're really called route masters. These are the usual buses with two floors that were open at the back, so people could jump on and off them when the bus stopped. They were first used in 1956 and were regularly used until 2005. However, a new design was made in 2012, just in time for the 2012 London Olympics. Red phone boxes. The first red phone box was invented by Sir Giles Gilbert Scott in 1924. He won a competition which was organised by the London Council to design a phone box. The design has changed since the first one and now there are very few on the streets. In 2012, the British telephone company, British Telecom, for the 25th anniversary of the free phone charity Childline, asked 80 different artists to design and decorate different phone boxes. They were put around London and then later sold at an auction. Black taxi cabs. While New York has its famous yellow taxis, London has its own icon, the black hackney cab. They are called a hackney or hackney carriage. They were introduced in the late 1950s and today you can find them in all different colours. But at the beginning, they were black. Drivers of these taxis have to pass a difficult test called the knowledge to have a licence. They have to know the streets and buildings of London perfectly. A black hackney was used in the 2012 London Olympics closing ceremony. It transported the Spice Girls onto the stage. Beef Eaters These are the guards that are found at the Tower of London, also known as Yeoman Warders. They were first introduced by King Henry VII in 1485. Their job was to look after prisoners in the tower and guard the crown jewels. Now they are more like tour guides answering tourists' questions and are also a visitor attraction. Landmarks An important London landmark is Tower Bridge. It's a bridge with two towers joined by two walkways and it opens for boats to pass through. Today, the bridge opens much less than in the past and you have to ask to open it 24 hours before you need to pass through. However, in December 2012, the bridge had to open very quickly as a 15-meter rubber duck was moving down the River Thames. Many people couldn't believe their eyes, but it was a marketing event to give money to people who had good ideas to make people laugh. If you ask people to name the most famous landmark in London, they probably say Big Ben. But did you know that Big Ben isn't the name of the famous clock or tower that you see in many films or photos about London? It's the name of the bell inside the clock tower. And the clock tower is now called the Elizabeth Tower. It was changed for Queen Elizabeth II's Diamond Jubilee in 2012. And did you know that the tower isn't straight? Every year, it moves by 0.9 millimeters. A modern day landmark. It stands on the bank of the River Thames, is 135 meters tall, moves 26 centimeters per second, 
and you can see for 40 kilometers from it. Can you guess what it is? Yes, it's the London Eye, Europe's tallest panoramic wheel. It was built for the millennium in 2000 and has become one of the most popular tourist attractions in London. On New Year's Eve every year, there are fireworks near the wheel. And for Prince William and Kate Middleton's wedding in 2012, the wheel was covered with lights with the colors of the Union Jack flag, red, white and blue. London's Biggest Square Trafalgar Square was built in 1845 to remember the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805. Every year, thousands of people go to Trafalgar Square on New Year's Eve to wait for midnight. In July 2011, the square was used for the first time for the world premiere of the final film in the Harry Potter series, The Deathly Hallows Part 2.